What is clean architecture? In Flutter, clean architecture will help us to separate business logic code from other codes such as UI, state management, and external data sources. And with this, we can build maintainable, testable, and scalable apps, which is well-structured and most suitable for big team of developers. In this clean architecture, domain layer is the topmost layer, and it does not depend on any other layer. That's why it's helpful to start writing our code from domain layer. This domain layer contains the core business logic as use cases, contracts as repositories, and business objects as entities. Now let's jump into its implementation. First of all, create the src folder under lib directory. Under src, create the domain folder along with the core folder where our core functionalities reside. Now create three folders under domain directory as entities, repositories, and use cases. Under entities directory, our business logic entities reside. Under repositories, our contract for repository reside. Under use cases, our get data, delete data, or any other use case reside. Now we want to build an app where we will get a random movie code. You can see we already have the open source API to get the random movie code. Now inside the entities folder, we have created the code entity file. Inside this file, we have created the code entity class. Now we are creating the data fields from our raw data and we are passing these fields to its constructor. And with this, we are also creating the methods from JSON and to JSON to convert our JSON data to Dart objects. Now under the repositories folder, create our repository file where our contract for repository will be written. Therefore, let's create the abstract class API repository and create the future method get random movie code which will return the failure an exception and code entity on its success you can see we have already created the failure abstract class under the core folder next under the use cases folder let's create our use case file under this file we will create the random movie code class where we will pass api repository instance to its constructor and finally we have created the execute method which will return the code entity from get random movie code method. And with this, we have completed the domain layer. So inside our presentation layer, we can use this class to get the random movie code.